Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baidu's exam prep. So as you know, now IITs, NITs notifications, not NITs yet, but IITs notifications are coming for MTech admissions. Um, from last two days, we have seen ISC Bangalore, IIT Madras. Today we are talking about IIT Jodhpur. Okay. So for IIT Jodhpur, you can see advertisements are there for PhD, MTech, MTech plus PhD dual degree, MSc and diploma. So we will see first of all about MTech multidisciplinary. So you can see they have mentioned that admissions to MTech program for 24-25 closing date of application will be 20th April and declaration of result will be 1st of May and if you want to apply they have given the link and advertisement details is also there. So you can see they have also mentioned here first of all we will go for the uh, like uh, advertisement detail. So in advertisement detail you will get this brochure and in this brochure they have mentioned about that what are the departments and what are the programs. So if you see bioscience and bioengineering, you can see MTech and MTech PhD dual degree in bioscience and bioengineering. For computer science engineering, MTech and MTech PhD dual degree in artificial intelligence. Okay. And similarly, you can see uh, in computer science, you can also go for dual degree in computer science engineering. So likewise for all the branches they have mentioned, like for electrical, you can see like for mathematics, for mechanical engineering, like in mechanical you have manufacturing and design one branch, second branch is uh, there is a dual degree of MTech PhD in thermofluid, then you can see dual degree in manuf advanced manufacturing in mechanical design, okay. So likewise you can see for metallurgical is there, chemical engineering is there, civil and infrastructure is there, IDRP, robotics and mobility is there, artificial intelligence is there, okay. So these are the programs, okay, they have mentioned the programs will admit eligible full time regular candidates with or without assistantship as you know assistantships uh, are there for 12,400 rupees for MTech students, okay, if you are pro uh, going with the gate score and they have also mentioned uh, like full time regular eligible for assistantships in campus candidate who can register for up to full permissible credits per semester, a fixed number of full time candidate having a valid gate score will be valid full time regular without assistantship fellowship okay here they are saying in campus candidate who can register for full time uh, for you can say a gate qualified candidate will be admitted under this category without financial support there no stipend would be given so here gate score required would be relatively lesser you can say okay you can see self sponsored candidates are also there they are in campus candidate uh, here they are talking about these candidates will be self sponsored and will be paying fees as per the rates notified for this category generally fees are higher for this category then you are having part time full time okay all these categories are there you can see uh, but basically we are talking about the students who are looking for gate with the gate score so uh, dear next we will talk about uh, the other things they are also giving the similar detail for mtech phd admissions as well they are also based on the gate score you can see gate score will get fellowship applicable for PhD. So when you will go for MTech plus PhD according to that you will get the stipend. So guys now we are moving further uh, this is the application procedure. So you are requested to use these links for MTech and MTech plus PhD whatever you are looking for and they have already told about the last date and they have mentioned that you need to go for COPE as well because COPE registration number will be required when you will be filling this form and COP uh, will be uh, available from 18th of March and for that we will be coming up with a separate video where we will be telling you every detail about COP. Then guys you can see uh, they have also mentioned for candidate without gate that is BTEC from CFTI part time sponsored and external will be informed directly by the IIT Jodhpur. So like you have already said that for CFTI in IIT Madra, uh, in ISC Bangalore similarly they are also mentioning the same thing. Okay guys. Now we are moving for the eligibility, so you already know the eligibility part, a minimum of 60% marks will be required for general OBC, 55% for SCST and PWBD category and this is about uh, you can say the minimum marks required for BTEC and all. Then you can also see some other details uh, that is related to the qualifying degree and gate requirements. If you have done BTEC, BE or BSc valid gate score student from all masters and engineering background with training in biology or applied field may apply this is for bioscience and bioengineering similarly you can see for artificial they have mentioned for artificial gate score will be required from CSIT double EC no other branch students similarly you can see for other uh, like you can say for uh, computer science engineering only CSIT 
similarly you can see uh, for sensors and internet uh, for that these four branches are eligible similarly you can go for cyber physics for cyber physics these four branches are eligible okay likewise you can see uh, for intelligent communication system only ec score will be uh, taken then for uh, you can see for data and computational sciences for that aerospace engineering computer science electronics electrical mechanical all scores are accepted then you can see specifically for manufacturing and design there mechanical engineering aerospace production and industrial if you have appeared for pdi paper you are eligible at iit jodhpur with pdi but they have not mentioned about xc okay xc they have not mentioned i would like to tell you so then you can see uh, related to this for mechanical design specifically they are saying here aerospace mechanical and pdi once again okay and uh, they are also talking about for cfti you already know eight uh, pointer is required similarly now you can check for every branch okay they have mentioned because every student would be having different branch based on that you can check this pdf i will also try to put on my telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana okay you can see that now you can see the important dates start of filling is from 4th march last date to apply is 20th april and announcement of selected candidate for the admission process is 1st may okay so this is going to be the complete notification these are the important numbers and email id if you have any doubt you can ask okay so now we are moving once again uh, back okay or we can directly go from here so when you will see here how to apply that also here they have mentioned okay so that is uh, going to be the way we can go for here also the same phone numbers and email ids are mentioned if you have any doubt this is about iit jodhpur so guys you can see whatever gate code you have applied or given the same uh, is applicable for the branch you are looking for or not whether you want to for mtech or mtech plus phd dual degree program all those things you can check here is it clear guys for everyone so this is the entire detail for iit jodhpur even if you want to check it by going here you can check how to apply okay so they have given you will be going for registration and then the all other things will be going on i feel everybody understood all these uh, things whatever i wanted to tell you okay so guys goodbye for this particular video and you know every day we are coming up with all the uh, notifications and just like the session share the video and subscribe the channel if you have not done if you want all the notifications on time goodbye guys for this particular video stay tuned with us